Um, Wahiga, thank you very much back in studio. Now it's uh, probably about two hours and ten minutes before this aircraft, uh, the airplane Qatar Airways um, uh, flight number QR1341 uh, makes its way or lands at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport carrying these vaccines that are eagerly being awaited for uh, by uh, so many Kenyans, uh, not just here in Nairobi but the rest of the country. I am standing uh, next to the crew gate. Um, this is the area where you'd normally find uh, airport staff uh, employees coming out of the exit area um, after working on the aircrafts and what have you. So this is not the exact spot uh, where the vaccines will be arriving, but uh, we'll probably get an opportunity to get there from around 10 o'clock or 10.30 uh, in order to be able to tell you exactly uh, how they'll be able to uh, be offloaded from the aircraft and eventually uh, driven all the way to Kitangela. Now, um, it's one of those nights, uh, Wahiga Maura, that uh, I probably tell you that, uh, you know, you have mixed reactions. One, uh, because there's a bit of excitement that finally this country, Kenya, uh, is going to get these vaccines uh, all the way from India. But then again, uh, some, you know, you talk to a few people here and they ask you, um, will, you know, one million, 25,000 doses be enough? Um, now, that's obviously a question that ministry officials will be able to tell us. But this is a start. So there's a bit of excitement here. Uh, we understand that uh, uh, the doses, obviously, once they arrive, they'll be received by the Cabinet Secretary, uh, Ministry of Health, uh, Mutai Kagwe, together with representatives uh, from UNICEF here in the country, as well as the WHO, uh, country representative in the country. They will be here from around 10 o'clock to receive the vaccines. From here, we understand they'll be taken all the way uh, to a storage, a central storage in uh, Kitengela, uh, and then from there they'll be distributed to nine other regional uh, central positions where we have the referral hospitals and then I will be able to tell you how they'll be distributed and how they'll be administered but we understand these are vaccines um, uh, made uh, or rather they're called AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 uh, uh, obviously manufactured by the Oxford University in conjunction with many other partners Okay. And obviously um, Kenya is is part of a group of 190 countries that are receiving these vaccines through the COVAX facility. Wahiga? Nimrod, tell us this. Is the activity at the airport this evening any different from any other nights? So, you know, what's your assessment of that security uh, preparations, etc.? Not at all. Apart from the Kenya Airports Authority officials who are expecting to, you know, be uh, very key and very important at the point of receiving these vaccines, everything else seems to be normal. There are very few uh, passengers, if you may, who are probably traveling it out or traveling in. Uh, the airport has been, you know, the activities here have not been as busy as they ought to, and I suspect it's because of the COVID-19. Remember, there are restrictions still, you know, with uh, how many aircrafts that can, that can come into the country or the can leave and how many passengers who can travel. So the activities are not as, as, as they ought to have been a couple of years ago before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Wahiga?